In this session, we're going to be working with the broken link checker on WordPress. We're also going to be working with the Elbert County site. We're in no way picking on Elbert County. They only have two broken links, so they're doing very well and are well above the curve. I'm going to go to Elbert County Extension and go to their dashboard. Here we are in the dashboard of the Elbert County Extension site. And if I use the left-hand navigation and go to Tools, I'll see my broken link checker right here and the red two telling me there are two broken links. I have the broken link checker enabled on every side of the CSU system, so you should always see this broken links option here um, inside the tools menu. If you don't, give me a call and I can enable your broken link checker for you. But as I said, they should all be enabled, and if you go to the tools menu, you should see broken links as the bottom link there. So we'll click broken links and continue. So here we are at the broken link checker page. I'll scroll down. We were taken automatically to the broken tab of the broken link checker page. And here are our two broken links. We'll look at these in a lot more detail in just a second. Let me show you the other tabs here. We have all the links on the site right here, all 46 links. Here are the two broken links we looked at earlier. There's no warnings for this page. There are 21 redirects. We'll talk about this in just a second and then uh, the dismissed links as well. Let's go back to broken, and we have four pieces of information for each of our broken links. We have the actual URL right here, and from here we can edit it, unlink it, tell uh, WordPress that it's not broken, dismiss it, or recheck it. I have the status of the link right here, the link text right here, and then the source page for the link right here. Now before I do anything else, let me quickly take you to the actual page so we can see this broken link in context as the end user sees it. So I'm going to click view. If I click just the title or edit, I'll go into the editing view of the page, but I actually want to look at what the end user sees. So I'm going to view. And once we're here, we have several tabs on the page. So I'll quickly look at this first one and I don't see any links. If I go to links, however, I see two links right here inside ag and local food systems that are crossed out. If you have a broken link on your site and the broken link checker is activated, then anytime you have a broken link on your site, it's going to be crossed out if it's not a working link. Now there's a good side and a bad side to that. This tells the end user that it's not a broken, it's not a working link, so you shouldn't use it, but it's also telling the end user that your links are not up to date on your page. So if you want to establish credibility on your web page, you need to make sure all your links are working and they're not seeing any crossed out links. So again, if you have the broken link checker on and you have a broken link, it's going to automatically cross out any link that it sees as being a broken link. Here we are back at the broken link checker page. This first broken link, we've already seen what it looks like in the wild as the end user sees it. So we'll next go to the actual broken link and see where it takes us. I'll click it, and I'm getting the uh, Colorado Official State Web Portal, but this is an error page, a 404 error. So what probably happened is this link used to work, but no longer does. This larger section with the Pacific subdirectory and the Ag Main subdirectory still work. If I lop off the end of this URL, I can see that this section of the website's working, but that specific link no longer works. I also know that there is a working inside ad link at the main state agriculture page. So if I go there, here I have a working inside ag link that takes you to a newsletter page to allow end users to sign up for newsletters. So if I click this, this is a working page to sign up for that newsletter. So I'm going to go up here to my location bar, control C to copy it. Now I'm going to go back to view broken links. I'm going to go to my link, edit URL, and I'm going to replace this link with my new newsletter sign up link. I'll update it. Now when I go back to my broken link checker page, I can see that the status of this link is not yet checked. So I'll click recheck, and we now have a working link, so I don't even need to go to the page itself to fix this link. I can do it from the broken link checker. This second broken link has a similar problem and a similar solution. 
If we lo look at the link first by clicking view just under the source page, we can see the broken local food system link right here. Notice inside ag is no longer struck through. However, local food systems are. So we'll go back to our broken link checker. We'll look at our actual link to make sure it's not working. I click it and see that this is also getting essentially a 404 error. However, if I go back to that same site I had earlier, the state agriculture extension site, there's the inside ag link we used earlier. This is not the Elbert County site. This is the state extension site. And here's my local food systems link here. So I can click this, go up to my location bar, control and C to grab this URL go back to my broken link checker and then edit URL as we did before replace that URL click update and now we have a unchecked link so we'll recheck this and we'll see that it works and that in a nutshell is how to fix broken links using the broken link checker